so a long, long time ago, I actually attended the University of California, Berkeley. Now, this seems so, so long ago. It seems like a different lifetime ago that I graduated from this grand, amazing university. And I was thinking the other day that I was able to witness during my time there an extraordinary event, an event that happens once a blue moon and that event was the uc berkeley naked run now for those of you that had not heard it i was in your same boat when i first arrived at uc berkeley never had i heard of the uc berkeley naked run and so there i was in moffett library studying for my finals my first ever finals of the fall semester now as a pre-med a lot of these courses were extremely difficult i still remember taking chem 1a i think stacy peterson or something like that was a professor extremely hard course i had the chinese olympics mathematician team uh in my class messing up the curve needless to say i was studying very hard day and night and it was in the middle of the night and I was grinding away in the depths of Moffat Library. If anybody has ever been there, there's a library with multiple floors. It goes underground. There are corners that I'm sure people have not been in in years and corners that get used for very suspicious activities. And there I was in my cubicle studying away for Chem 1A. I remember this very vividly, yet at the same time, this is a repressed memory of mine. As I was there in my cubicle studying, I began to hear a little bit of murmuring. I heard a little bit of discussion going around and I saw people starting to get up out of their desks and move toward the center of the library. And I was wondering what was going on. I was not about to be a school shooting victim, so I quickly packed up my bags and got ready to make a run for the exit. But on the way out, I was greeted to something entirely different, something I had not been prepared for, even more so, some would say, than a shooter. And that was a giant group of white people that were butt naked, straight up naked. Now, some of them were not all naked. Some of them did choose to accessorize on this day. Some wore hats, some wore armbands, headbands, uh, all sorts of other decorations. But in the end of the day, these individuals had absolutely nothing in the mind of decency and were flat out naked. There was so much cheering that you would think it was Cal versus Stanford going on. Now, a lot of this I feel like is just memory that's kind of filled in and it's been so many years that it's went through, but to my shock, to my absolute utter shock, I went on YouTube and tried to do some research to see if there was any evidence of this Berkeley naked run that would happen, which supposedly is to cause uh, a little bit of a morale boost to those of us that have been studying down in the library, cause a little bit of excitement, cause a, a little bit of a spectacle uh, during this dead week, as we call it, which was a week before final. And to my absolute shock, I found the video of the Berkeley naked run that I witnessed. Now there are a few individuals that participated in this run that are etched and burned into my mind forever. In particular, there was one individual that, <laughs> there was one individual that as he was running down the aisles, chose to do a handstand and did a handstand walk for a good, I mean, this guy had some stamina, he had some strength, he was a very skinny little guy, but he got in about 10 steps upside down with his little wiener flopping around in there. None of these people, you know, were, were shaved. There was no grooming going on. This was all out. Nobody cares. Everyone was on board. I cannot believe this was happening. And on top of that, I am would be shocked if it still happens to this day. But I was able to find the video on YouTube, somehow still up there, somehow uncensored. And I do recognize some of these individuals from that faded day. So as you can see here, I was able to find the video and we're gonna take a look at it together. Are you are you already seeing this is the entrance to Moffitt? I would have been over in this corner somewhere. There was a cubicle over here. And uh, this is this is where the faded individuals are gonna come down here. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Oh, let's see what's going on here. We're looking here. Oh, oh, I do not remember this individual. Already, this guy comes out of nowhere looking like a Titan from Attack on Titan. Maybe one of those little miniature ones. He's a little separated from the group. I don't remember them coming from this direction. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, yep. Yeah, he was just a lone warrior. A lone stranded warrior uh, doing his own little thing. Flopping around over there uh, by himself. Here's where the massive swath of individuals came down. Absolutely no warning aside from the, the little murmurings you would hear from the rest of the crowd. And let's keep going here. There we go. There we go. 
As you can see, some people did choose to keep their heads covered, wanted to remain some level of anonymity. Most people did not give a crap. Yeah! So as you come down, all this will likely be censored on YouTube. I will censor it. I'm not going to get demonetized for any of this, but know that this video is up absolutely uncensored and these people do exist out there. And uh, we're going to come up here. I don't recognize any of these people. There he is. There he is. That is the guy. I will not forget that hat that he had. The hat glasses combo. This is the guy uh, that uh, did the handstand. He, I'm telling you, skinny little guy came down the row, did a handstand, went for about 10 seconds, saw things that I will never get out of my mind. Thanks to this man, and uh, and he, I'm sure he was proud of it. I'm sure to this day he looks back on this video as one of the biggest accomplishments of his life. So, thank you, sir. Thank you for that. And this is it. It keeps going. It keeps going. And like I said, lacking a bit in diversity. Um, there are many reasons possibly for that, but it, it continues. And it keeps going. One man with an American flag. Why not? And it continues to go. I told you. And this might have been more than my predicted 50 to 60 people. Oh, I did see a couple Asians in there. These poor girls in the corner, terrified, have never probably seen a single wiener in their life, and now they have about 50 to 60 of them flopping around, dancing around in front of them. At this point, I don't know where you go from here, how you de-escalate the situation. I cannot believe how many people are still rolling in here. This is far, far more than I remember. I'm just in awe of this entire situation. Now, does this still happen? I have no idea. I have no contact with anybody at UC Berkeley in terms of students at this point. If it still happens out there, please let me know. I would be very interested to see if this is still going on. And I am very doubtful, but would not be surprised. I do want to see how this breaks up. Let's keep going here. So we got a little naked rave going on. They have the Ole chant going. All right. Respectable. And they kind of just leave. Looks like uh, not, nothing very spectacular. They kind of just, they walk out. Now let's see if we can see any kind of uh, absolutely ripped yet disturbed uh, Indian guy in the corner somewhere here. Maybe, potentially, here on the left side. Oh, no, I am probably down there. But the question is, will this guy be able to catch up before the video ends? And no. So that is something I just wanted to bring up in this video. This is something that happened. This is something that I witnessed. This is something that I'm not sure still goes on to this day, but would not be surprised. Let me know if you're still around there. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Maybe you go to a different university. Maybe you had never heard of this. Maybe you're one of these people running in here. Mad props to you. I mean, if the goal is to de-stress some of these students that are sitting there in dead week, hours on end, I'm sure that they uh, they see some solace in seeing your naked bodies flop around uh, in front of them for a couple minutes. Anyway, that's gonna be a quick one here, guys. If you did like this video, please be sure to hit a like button. It helps me out a lot. Be sure to subscribe for medical study tips, whatever random other stuff we post on this channel. We always are having a good time here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.